uh, are the fashion plants you're gonna be the fabrics. And today I'm gonna show you around first the same friends. Here we have a student office. If you have any questions, you lock the door and you ask questions. And here we have a jewelry closet and also market like the city for marketing and the students. So as we walk through here, this is the hallway. So here we have a space. Uh, it's for students. It's a free space, uh, so you can work on your own stuff. And uh, we have also mannequins, wonders, mannequins, also pastime, anything. And um, here there is another class that relates for marketing classes. So well, you can't see it perfectly, uh, but now there is a class. I think it's a lighting class here. And this one way usually you have a student uh, person and you can see the student's design and you can get directions. And, uh, and this part, uh, we have the, the card making classes. So card making class uh, is like a big space, but usually this table, you have space for card your cards. And there are all the mannequins here, so you can do the draping and, uh, and uh, pretty much and you can play here the small on uh, down like up in for Paris, so which you can see there. We have another space here, um, which the students can work out of their class time. So you have mannequins also here, and also the um, big tables to work on your pens. And at the end, you have printing machine, um, which you can print, and there's a computer also. continue here again we have mannequins so you can see students work on it like the design for different projects here is usually the theory classes for marketing here it's a digital class that um usually we work on our digital um, um project we work with uh, photoshop illustrator and design here and um uh, there are students out there if you don't have class, you can just use the computers also, like this application, like software, everything here. So, like, just straighten your mouse. <laughs> and here, it's usually a story classes, or uh, sometimes our, like, uh, for software and stuff. So I'm Pisa Jin Hassan, the director of Foundry Club by IFA Paris, which is our 400 square meter fashion tech club based inside the building. So it houses our showroom, the maker space with sponsors such as IBM, Lecture, and TDT Studio. Um, and then we also have our co-working space which houses our startup. So um, with our uh, startup program incubator. So I take care of everything to do with fashion tech at IOP Paris. So in today's class, we are joined by the Bachelor of Fashion Design Year 2. And this is part two of the new technologies module, and which is specifically about DC Suites, which is a 3D fashion design software sponsored to us by TG3D Studio. So if you come and study with us, um, you might meet me to do everything with 3D fashion. So here, it's a touring class, but today we have a meeting here. So we're going to come into the class and then see what's going on. So here is the space. We have a vending machine. We have a super coffee. And also, you have marker heads if you want to warm up your stuff. It's a space you can wash your own dishes. Here, it's the most important class. Um, it's the sewing room class. <laughs> you can see there are students working. So here is the foundry of Fashion Tech Lab. Um, we'll come back to this. We have a video presentation video that will be showing up later on. But just to give you a, a quick uh, overview of the place, and you'll see the rest on the, on the video later on. How are you? And uh, well, say hi, everybody. 
So we are in fashion thinking class and we are playing with cardboard. It's a creative thinking course. And what we're doing now is exploring how we can come up with shapes using only our hands and cardboard. And then the students are going to be able to use scissors and they're going to continue to do the living room. So it's all about creative ideas. And then we will go playing with them. I work with our hands, it's very hands on. And so voila, so that's what we're doing. Then we're going to be doing more exercise about sketching, for example, a song. So we're going to play a song and they're going to put it in visuals and we have some students here and some students online and we're all connected so they share the projects and it's really nice. Hi everyone, my name is Vaughn and I'm the Lab and Community Associate here at Foundry Pied by Ivy Paris. I work with students at Ivy Paris to pioneer fashion tech, which is our mission for the lab. Um, and what we do is pretty much act, act as an extension of the school itself uh, by giving the students the space to experiment with new technologies uh, from our bachelor's fashion design students all the way to our MBA fashion and technology students. Um, so I'm gonna just show you what that space actually looks like. You will see now on the screen um, some of the things that we do uh, from 3D printing all the way to virtual reality, all the way through to as well laser cutting um, and 3D printing. So all of these things are just to allow the students to pretty much just think outside of the box, allow themselves to be more experimentative and to be more innovative pretty much uh, when it comes to their designs and how they go about their designs because they can think about this through the production way um, of things. So in terms of manufacturing, how are they manufacturing things, how are they also uh, just designing things as well. Um, and I'm just going to show you some of the examples that we have with the students. Um, so this is an example from the Bachelor of Fashion Design and Tech class where the students had to design their handbags. So they first started off with uh, prototyping with uh, paper and then afterwards um, making that a digital file and then from there actually creating that into the actual laser cut piece. Um, so obviously it's about how to uh, envision this first through the paper, experiment with the shape and so on and then make that into a digital file ready to laser cut and that's exactly what they did here and you can pretty much do that with anything even up to like 20 millimeters thickness. Some people have done jewelry um, and even shoes, just kind of putting things together. Um, so that's pretty much there possible as well. We also have 3D printing, which I mentioned earlier, um, and this is just an example of how, of how we are incorporating other machineries um, into the others. So in this case, it was the body scanner where one of our students actually scanned themselves. Um, and this is where uh, you get your measurements really quickly without having to measure yourself with an ordinary measuring tape. And then you get yourself as well a avatar so you see how you look like as a mini me um, and then from there you 3d print that if you want to so in this case it is how we just went from body scanning all the way to 3d printing quite simply and then from there when it's really still on that 3d printing uh, aspect we are also looking at how to make this fashion more functional so in this case we had some buttons um, and fastenings that you'll see in the next slide as well um, and we've just been experimenting with some text how you can play around with shapes as well embossing or actually cutting holes through that um, and creating that to be more functional as well and I did mention as well other fasteners so this is a clip belt um, example where it can it actually works in real life so you can then attach that onto other materials to basically complete the whole thing itself um, and some other things that we get up to in the lab is also digital design. So uh, you saw obviously the buttons that we um, worked together on. So in this case, it's about how to actually create that so that you are able to then 3D print it later on. So in this case, you'll see on the screen now actually uh, an example of a digital button. Uh, this was created on uh, Google Skill, uh, Google. Uh, SketchUp um, and then that could also be on Rhinoceros as well and some other softwares that are possible to do so and then exporting that as an STL file and then later on 3D printing it um, and then uh, going away from kind of the 3D printing aspects we do also offer the students DC Suite which is a 3D digital design software in this case you won't actually necessarily be uh, 
digitally printing anything you are just digitally designing um, and then in this case you're able to see what a garment might look like potentially um, in, in real life when you want to sew it later on so you will see an example now on the screen of what that looks like in this case we have uh, a menswear kind of project going on uh, where we will have a um, top and also later on trouser you can also see then how that will look like when it's draped on the body and it is pretty hyper real so you will be able to see what that will look like and the potential it has for when you do decide to actually commit to this design and actually sew it in real life now in terms of the fabric choice that you can see here we also have a fabric scanner um, which allows you to have small samples um, of a fabric and then allows you to then actually see what that might look like on the avatar that I've just shown you on the software. So you'll see that now on the screen um, where you have the fabric scanner on the right. Um, that is actually by our partner TK3D and so is DC Suite as well. Um, and actually you can see the difference between as well the small scale of that sample that is actually on the fabric scanner and how much larger it looks digitally there um, and how it may potentially look like as a whole fabric um, that's draped uh, in this way and then that can also be draped um, on the garments that you may be experimenting with on DC Suite with the digital design software. And that's pretty much that in terms of what we offer. We do have quite a lot going on there so if you do have any further questions or you'd like to know more about the lab specifically you can visit foundryftlab.com or email us at foundry at ifaparis.com. Thank you guys! So hi everyone, this is Al Ben Forestier, the Academic Director for IFA Paris. Um, it's my turn to introduce you to our bachelor program. So now that you've entered IFA Paris, the next step is to figure out what you will be learning and studying at IFA Paris. So um, now I'm going to talk about the bachelor programs and later on we'll have a presentation of our other programs on offer, the MBAs and the short and summer courses. So if you're interested in in MBAs and short and summer courses. Please hold on, we'll go back to this later. Now I'm talking to uh, you high, uh, high school graduates or you'll be short to be, soon to be high school graduates. You're looking for a bachelor programs. You wanna work in the fashion industry and um, you like to know what's on offer. So at IFA Paris, we have a number of, um, a number of bachelor on offers. So we have four bachelors on offer, Bachelor of Fashion Design and Technology, which is our historic bachelor and I think uh, quite well known by now, our Bachelor of Fashion Marketing, um, and we had quite a few intakes as well with this bachelor program. And uh, since more recently, we had two additions to our bachelor offers, our Bachelor in Visual Merchandising and Bachelor in Fashion Sustainability. So let me introduce you to the first two. So uh, I will start with the Bachelor of Fashion Design and Technology. This is really the, the Bachelor for you guys who are thinking about, who feel that you are creative, you're interested in, in uh, fashion design, you like drawing, you like illustration, you like uh, sewing and practical workshops, and you're thinking that maybe a career in fashion design is for you. So our Bachelor of Fashion Design and Technology is a three-year program. As, as with all our programs, it is uh, taught in English and it's available on uh, our three campuses, Paris, Shanghai, Istanbul. And we also have, and uh, please pay attention, we also have an online bachelor fashion design available in September 2021. So the format is very flexible and it's something I'll go back to when I talk about the bachelor fashion marketing. You may start uh, online because you have to and then you may be able to switch back to an on-campus format later on during your studies because we understand that we have to adapt to the current situation and for those of you it's not possible yet to come to Paris to study. Um, our next intake is in September 2021 on all campus and in January 2022, that is next January already, we have an intake in Paris. So if you are currently finishing your studies or if you like to uh, maybe take six month, uh, a gap of six months uh, in between your high school and your next studies, you can join us in January, in January 2022. Um, you also have information here on this slide about the academic structure of this program. Uh, we work with something called ECTS credits 
Um, this is because we work with a, a European network of higher education institutions uh, and our IFA Paris Bachelor is actually certified by FEDE, like our all programs. FEDE is called uh, Fédération Européenne des Écoles. It's a European institution that, accredits, that gives accreditations to uh, 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 many uh, higher education uh, certificates and programs. So um, the fact that we work with ECTS credits means that our programs and our modules are recognized throughout Europe and you may be able to uh, transfer to other institutions using those credits or to transfer from other institutions and come to Paris in your second or third year. Um, and uh, you also have uh, the breakdown of the tuition fee per year. Uh, be careful that the fee is different whether you're studying in Paris, in Shanghai or in Istanbul. All this information can also be retrieved from our IFA Paris uh, website on the presentation of the program. So the program is organized around uh, three years. Uh, and we call them atelier because uh, what we try to do at IFA Paris is to uh, we apply a learning by doing methodology. So we try to copy as much as possible the techniques and ways of learning that will be used in the industry and replicate, replicate them at school so that you are organized, uh, our teachings are organized as atelier. So the first one is one of discovery. We don't have any prerequisites when you arrive at IFA Paris. The idea is we give you the tools and skills to be able to become a fully fledged professional, a fully fledged designer. And the first year is really where we give you the basic requirements to move on to the next level and go uh, into more depth in your studies. So um, during the first atelier, the first year, students are following core modules in order to discover the universe of fashion. We really encourage you to be curious if you're interested in the arts uh, at large and not just fashion. This is also a place for you. Uh, you will acquire basic skills in design, construction, digital fashion and fashion history. And um, this will help you. This will uh, help you develop the basis to move on to the next step. So you have fashion design, fashion workshop, digital fashion design, pattern making and draping, production, um, and fashion history and culture. These are the big core modules, the big themes that you'll be discovering in your first year. The second year, uh, well, it's a bit similar to the first year, except now you are becoming more autonomous with your learning and also you have learned the basic skills and you're now ready to move on uh, to uh, a more advanced level. So we have similar uh, modules, except you learn uh, techniques that are more advanced, whether it is in fashion design, where you um, experiment new techniques such as knitting to develop your creativity, uh, or whether it's uh, uh, in uh, digital fashion design, pattern making and draping, production, digital fashion product, uh, fashion marketing and textile technology. In the third year, uh, you actually have covered the basic techniques uh, and you are now ready to start thinking about uh, developing your own collection, your own style, your own voice within this industry. Um, so you have to work on the collection and if you're selected, you'll be uh, welcome to take part in the end of year fashion show. Um, and uh, basically, you are very free to develop your own collection. This is something that we really encourage everyone to develop their own personal creativity. Uh, I think this is something my colleagues have said, IFA Paris is a very international environment. We have students coming from uh, all, the, all the places in the world. Over 50 nationalities are presented here at IFA Paris. And the idea is that um, each one of you come with their own uh, inspiration, their own culture, their own ideas, and they can really turn it into, uh, develop the tools to really learn how to develop a collection based on this. Um, so you have to develop a collection and currently your third year student, you saw the fitting today, are putting the final, uh, final touches to their collection. They will have their jury in a month's time and some of them will be selected to take part in the fashion show mid-July. Um, now, now let me move on to the next bachelor that we offer, which is uh, the Bachelor in Fashion Marketing. It's also certified by uh, uh, the European institution FIDE. Um, it's a three-year program, it's also taught in English, and this program is also offered 
uh, in Paris on a Paris campus and it's in Istanbul. And for both campuses, you have the possibility to study on campus, that is um, visit the, the campus that you've just uh, taken the tour of, or to study online. We also have two intakes for this program, one in September 2021, so next September, and one in January 2022. For those of you who are thinking of maybe uh, uh, finishing high school credits or taking a gap, uh, uh, some time off before you uh, resume your studies. Um, similarly to the Bachelor of Fashion Design, um, this program is credited with 180 CTS credits. And again, the same rule apply. If you're coming from other institutions and are thinking maybe of moving to Paris to study, I would like to come and study at IFA Paris, but you've already completed one year, it's still possible to do that, especially if you've been uh, studying in a European institution, because we will consider those credits that you've earned. And if um, we have similar uh, programs you can transfer to a second or third year depending obviously on the evaluation of your application file um, and you also have here on the slides uh, that i'm sharing with you the breakdown of the tuition fee um, the fee is uh, 8,900 euros in Paris and 7,900 euros for the Istanbul campus. And if you're online, you will uh, have a tuition fee of 5,800 euros. So um, similarly to the Bachelor of Fashion Design, we have three years, three years of study. The first year is really a year, again, where you start getting the grasp of the basic marketing skills uh, communication skill, market research skills that you will need to become fully fledged uh, marketing professionals in the fashion industry. Um, all modules uh, are organized in five uh, thematic groupings, module groupings. The first one is marketing foundation. This is um, in this uh, in these modules you will be introduced to the world of marketing uh, and develop and learn the basic marketing techniques. You also have a core module grouping called uh, fashion business. Uh, this is where you start thinking about um, the skills and the tools you will need to develop to be a, a, a manager in a business environment and also an entrepreneur, if that's what uh, you're thinking of doing after you graduate. Because, you know, uh, the third module grouping is called fashion environment. And um, I think you're all here today because you love fashion. It represents something very special to you. And um, the reason why we have a fashion marketing program is because uh, fashion marketing is something special. Um, it's not the same to uh, be in the fashion industry. It's a creative industry. And therefore, you have to have a good understanding of what kind of product you are marketing, what kind of product you're thinking of, of, of working with. Um, and so that's why we have a fashion environment module grouping. You learn the basics of creation and this will give you the tools to later on work with uh, the designer, the creative people that also work in fashion uh, brands. You also get uh, introduced to digital fashion um, and to what we call supporting studies because we believe you know uh, that studies are not just about theories it's also about developing some what we call soft skills and it's important for you to become professional to have uh, to be able to introduce yourself to brand yourself in a positive way and to be aware of what your core skills and core qualities are so supporting studies are really here to provide you with tools uh, to, to develop your understanding of your own career uh, and your own personal development second year um, well, you will be, uh, in terms of module groups, groupings, we have uh, the same structure, we have the same five module groupings, except this time you are um, really invited to specialize uh, your skills and your understanding of these different disciplines. Uh, and often what happens is the second year is that on top of the very the theoretical uh, modules and projects that you have, we often have what we call industry projects where in your second year, because you're already becoming more autonomous with your learning, you can start working on client briefs and work with real brands to develop, uh, to answer their needs and start working on real life projects. So that's a very exciting thing about the second year. In your third year, you have uh, learned all the basics of, uh, you know, what you need to to know before you move on to the next step of your career which is to get your first job uh, and um, 
So the third year is a transition year where you are, uh, have the opportunity to work on your own project. Um, and then you will be required to produce a comprehensive marketing plan with a focus on, on branding and communication. You have a whole year to work on this. You get a number of workshops to help you with that. You get to choose your own brand and your own project uh, because we really believe that you have to be passionate about what you're doing. And you have a whole year, you, you get coached by uh, a personal tutor and you get to present twice on this project so it's a very um, it's usually a project that students enjoy very much because they get to use all this, the theoretical tools they've learned so far and uh, adapt them and integrate them into a real life project that they've chosen and that's in line with their centers of interest in conjunction students also have to complete a period of internship um, especially in the second term of the year and therefore, uh, they will be immersed in a practical context, in a professional context, and they will be able to uh, finalize their portfolio of skills. Now, this is, uh, so, now I'm just gonna um, talk briefly about the other two programs that we offer as well, uh, in conjunction with the Bachelor of Fashion Design and Bachelor of Fashion Marketing. The first one is the Bachelor of Visual Merchandising. This is a program, again, that has a duration of three years. It's course in English. The very exciting thing about this program is that it is taught in partnership with another institution based in Florence, Italy, uh, the Accademia Italiana. Uh, and really, uh, you get to learn all the niche skills that you need to have to become what is becoming a very important um, position in the fashion industry, that of a visual merchandising, visual merchandiser. So you get to do your first year in Paris uh, together with uh, the Bachelor of Fashion Marketing. So the first year is, common, is a common core modules with the Bachelor of Fashion Marketing year one. Um, so I'm just here, I, I've put again the, the list of module uh, that you'll be completing in your year one. And in the second year, you will be focusing on retail architecture and you will uh, be taught a perfect blend of business and creative modules and the second year actually takes place in Florence on the campus of our partner Academia Italiana. Um, so that's for the second year and then in your third year you get to come back to Paris and study uh, and reintegrate your uh, third year with uh, Bachelor of Visual Merchandising and you get to uh, produce your own project uh, focusing on visual retail. In your third year, you also have the opportunity to do an internship similarly to the Bachelor of Fashion Marketing students. So a very interesting program, very specialized, uh, but really uh, answering the need of an industry because uh, really uh, visual retail is really on the up. Now, uh, the last, uh, I would say the last born of our collection of Bachelor programs is a, a Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability. Uh, sustainability has become a, a core, uh, very core to uh, IFA Paris identity uh, as a fashion school. It's also a three-year program. It's also for, offered in Paris only this time, so you can't study in Istanbul uh, Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability, and it's also offered online. We have two intakes in September and in January, okay? and uh, here you can also see the ECTS credit structure, 180 credit, and the fee structure. So let me tell you a bit more about the Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability. In year one, um, the core structure is common to the Bachelor of Fashion Marketing or Bachelor of Fashion Design. Maybe I should go back to this. Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability is open to those of you who feel creative and want to study design, but also to those of you who are interested in uh, the business aspect of the fashion industry and would like to think about new ways of doing business in accordance with uh, the goals of sustainability and fashion ethics. So you can actually choose a specialization for the Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability, either in design or in marketing. If you do design, that means you do a year one and year two with the Bachelor of Fashion Design students uh, to learn the basic skills of uh, fashion design and fashion production. And then in the third year, you will work on a collection and the main criteria is obviously for you to use sustainability criteria to develop the collection. Uh, if you choose uh, Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability with a marketing major, 
You will then work on the final project, developing a business plan, a marketing plan uh, that is uh, in accordance with the principles of sustainability and fashion ethics. So you have this very strong specialization uh, and it's something that uh, professionals, industry professionals have been asking us about. Uh, they can't wait to have our first intake of students graduating from Basha Fashion Sustainability because there is so much demand from the industry. And I think that's it for me. I've presented the full bachelor that we have at IFA Paris. Uh, and I will let the floor to, uh, to the students' testimonials to get to hear from um, maybe uh, uh, colleagues in the future. Uh, and I will be back for the MBA session later on. It was lovely talking to you. Hi, my name is Carl uh, Alexander and I'm a BSM2 student here at IFA Paris. Uh, I grew up in Dubai and I went to Montreal for my uh, higher education before ending up here in Paris. So I was looking for uh, universities that uh, were in English first of all and then also was very interested in the marketing aspect of luxury goods and fashion. And after looking at multiple schools, I decided that IFA Paris was probably the best choice for me. Well, being a student at Eva Paris is like being in a small family because um, it's a very tight-knit group of uh, students and everybody pretty much knows each other and teachers and students know each other so it's a very familiar atmosphere. Um, it's super inclusive here and you can really feel like you can be yourself. So the BFM2 uh, classes, so me and all my colleagues at BFM2 are working on the BFD, so Bachelor of Fashion Design 3 and the Contemporary uh, Masters uh, Graduate Students Fashion Show, which is on July 8th. The entire BFM2 class, uh, class is responsible for organizing and creating the show, so finding the venue, organizing the budget, uh, doing all the marketing, and I think that's like a very good real-life experience uh, type of project, which is super interesting. I think my program is very good because it kind of teaches you everything, all, it gives you all the bases uh, in terms of fashion business, not just marketing, which is what I'm doing. Uh, so, you know, it goes from accounting to finances to merchandising. It kind of gives you an all-around very good uh, overview of, of the fashion business in general. I think it's a very good idea to apply to IFA Paris if you want something that's very uh, familiar, very, very, very inclusive and something that you really can be yourself. So I mean if my answers previously haven't convinced you yet, I have to say that this is like a very good university. Uh, the teachers are super good, the administration is super good, it's a very easy process and it's a very familiar group of people to work with and um, I really think you should apply right now. Uh, and again, we have a Q&A session afterwards. So if you have some questions, please uh, keep them, write them down and address them to us uh, later on. Okay, so here we have the MBA programs. Uh, so again, I will talk about the programs that are held on Paris campus, but also on Istanbul campus. So these programs are offered to, uh, uh, and this is something that I'm sure you have lots of questions about, which are prerequisites, and I, I will start addressing it a bit, and I'm sure we'll, we can uh, talk about it in Q&A session. So we have three programs, MBA, the Master of Arts in Contemporary Fashion Design, the MBA Fashion Management, and the ABG Fashion Tech that will be produced by uh, Jean-Baptiste later on. So again, these are programs that are open to uh, most graduates from the bachelor degree. Uh, for the Master in Contemporary Fashion Design, we are favoring profiles of students that have an experience in design, so maybe because they have studied bachelor, uh, for a Bachelor in Fashion Design. And for the MBA Fashion Management, it's a, a program that's open to students that have studied maybe marketing, economic, business, but not only. Uh, we also welcome graduates from fashion design programs that would like to have an experience in uh, the business side and know more about the business side, maybe because they're thinking about starting their own brand or they will, you know, uh, they will go, like to go into uh, 
corporate, corporate side of, of the fashion industry. Uh, and we also had students uh, of uh, humanities, uh, languages, and um, it's important that uh, you feel concerned by this program. If you want to go into fashion, we're looking at obviously the academic record, but we're also looking at the professional experience, and that includes internship, that includes uh, voluntary work, that includes passion. You know, if you have this interest in the fashion industry, um, those programs might be for you, even if you don't have a background in fashion design or in marketing to start with. So let us move on to a more detailed presentation of the program. I will start with the Master of uh, Arts in Contemporary Fashion uh, Design. So uh, this is a program um, that I'm very proud to introduce because uh, it has been the object of uh, many very successful fashion show at Ish Lifa. Uh, and we now have uh, graduates that have started their own brands, uh, are doing really well. And some of them are even teaching here at IFA Paris. Uh, so I, I really, really enjoy this program and the students uh, that are part of it. It's a program that's held over a duration of 15 months. Uh, very exciting because also this is a program that's the object of a partnership with uh, Instituto Lorenzo di Medici that's based in Florence. And students who uh, are enrolled in this program spend two, uh, a part of their studies in Paris so we call it two terms, so usually generally from September till, uh, let's say, the Easter break, March, April, they spend this time in Paris, and then they get to spend uh, about two months uh, between May and July in Florence on uh, the campus of Instituto Lorenzo di Medici with our partners there. Uh, and I think it's always been a very good experience. This is a partnership we start maybe a, a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, and every time it's been a, a uh, very much enjoyed by the students. We had really good feedback and it's very helpful for those of you who are thinking about starting your own brand because obviously Italy is um, one of the European countries where we still have a very strong manufacturing tradition. So very important to go to France and um, get acquainted with this. Um, the program is actually, so after the, the three terms of study where you get to know uh, about creative and business modules and I'll talk a bit more about it in a minute you get to come back uh, either in Paris or to stay you know, in, you know, in your home country or maybe another country where you'd like to be based. And you can uh, work on your collection. It's a professional collection and you will get to present it to a jury of professionals in, um, after 15 months. And those of you who are selected get to participate in the Infra Paris Fashion Show. Um, so here you have the tuition fee, which amounts to um, 12,800 euros and the application fee. So let us move on to uh, the detail of this program. Um, so this is a program that has, again, we use the principles of module groupings to develop the core teachings. Uh, so obviously, if you're here looking at this program, it's because you are a creative person. So that's why we have a number of modules that are devoted to uh, creative culture. Um, students can use these modules uh, uh, to develop, to build their own artistic framework and uh, develop their own uh, style, motivation and work on their own um, inspiration and intellectual process. They also obviously have a number of modules that are devoted to fashion environment and um, this is really um, experimental modules where students can work can, can work on uh, construction techniques, shapes, volumes, details. And again, this is very flexible because we assume that when you're enrolling our master in contemporary fashion design, you are already fully fetched designers. You have those techniques. So we're not bringing you new techniques. We're fairly autonomous. What we're bringing you is a community, uh, the expertise of professional and I, and the opportunity to work on your creativity and research skills and develop concepts that are in line with your own style, your own voice. Um, so that's where you can do that in those fashion environment modules. What also, we also bring to you, especially for those of you creative, and I think it's been um, a, you know, a really characteristic of Aoife Paris, we bring you mo business modules and marketing skills and business skills because uh, today, if, even if you're the best designer, you want to start your own brand, you need to know how to brand yourself and how to brand your work. And this is something, you know, the, the history of Aoife Paris has been 
design programs and eventually moved into marketing. So we know how to do marketing for creative people, how to teach those skills to creative minds and creative profiles. And this is what we do in our marketing and management uh, modules. We also have obviously image and communication. Um, so obviously you work on your digital uh, design skills, business issues, again, they're related to the marketing and management modules. And um, you also learn a number of new techniques, technical issues, where students um, like you can strengthen the knowledge skills to handle uh, different kinds of garments and textile. And this is usually where we associate with, with brands or with uh, partners to work on uh, industry projects, real life projects. So um, this is very important for students because you get to work on uh, real life scenarios. And to give you an example this year, we've been working with our CSD students. Uh, we've had a project running for a couple of years now, which is uh, the whole project working with um, NGO, uh, working with refugees that are came to Paris and our students have been developing a capsule collection with those refugees for a couple of years. Every time it's obviously a different intake and this project and they've been showing their work uh, in professional fashion shows. So this has been a very successful project and this year we've added another layer because we're not, um, we're ambitious at IFA Paris, <laughs> uh, which was to work on inclusivity and we had a number of partners. Uh, I've seen there's been a number of Instagram posts about it and stories. So. I'll let you check it out. Um, working on the issue of inclusivity, uh, because I told you before when I was talking about our Basha program that sustainability, fashion ethics, it's, at, it's one of the core principles of um, IFA Paris uh, as a school, but also as a working and environment and a community. And we believe that, yeah, it's good to talk about sustainability, but we also have to include uh, other issues such as inclusivity, um, uh, and uh, diversity. So we've been working on inclusivity and uh, we had a jury about, I think it was a month ago, and a very successful capsule collection was selected and it will be uh, eventually manufactured and produced and, and commercialized. So well done to the students. So if you're enrolled in the Master Contemporary Fashion Design, uh, be sure that you have something, we have something in store for you, whether it's working on, on, on you know, real life cases. Now, um, let's move on to uh, the next uh, program, which is our MBA Fashion Management. Um, this is actually an umbrella program uh, because uh, as part of MBA Fashion Management, you can get a specialization. So you have uh, a number of three specialization and I will talk about it in a minute. Just as a general, as general information, you should know that uh, the MBA Fashion Management in its three specialization, its three tracks are offered on both uh, Paris and Istanbul campus. So you can uh, come to Paris to study or go to Istanbul if you prefer. You can also study online both uh, with Paris or Istanbul. So a very flexible option. Um, it's a two year program, so 20 month duration. Um, the next thing takes actually this September and we still have uh, quite a few seats so uh, don't hesitate to ask more information about those um, and it's a program that uh, has a number of 120 CTS credits um, for those of you who are not here during the BASHA presentation we work with uh, the European credit transfer system this is a system that's recognized by I would say the vast majority of um, European higher education institutions, and that allows for uh, credit transfer, that is module transfers between institutions in Europe. So this is something that's uh, wi widely accredited and recognized uh, across higher education in Europe. And for this program, you get 120 ECTS credits. And for the tuition fee, it's actually set at 14,800 euros, uh, and the online fee is uh, 9,500 euros. So uh, I just mentioned that we had three tracks for this program. So um, the, I, I just go straight to the point. So we have luxury, apparel, media, and for all three tracks, the, really the goal of IFA Paris is to reconcile two very important um, characteristics of the fashion industry today. One is um, the importance of traditional heritage, traditional savoir-faire. Uh, and I think, you know, the reason why you're looking for studying in Paris is because you're aware 
that France and Paris especially have a very strong tradition of um, um, high quality processes, high quality knowledge and high quality uh, fashion industries and that's why you would like to come this is uh, you know where Haute Couture was born uh, so quite rightly so but at the same time we're aware that you know we can't live in the past we have to move forward and today's industry is really about you know contemporary practices including you know new technologies including sustainability processes and the the goal of IFA Paris and the goal of a master program is to give you the tools to associate this savoir faire this traditional know-how with um, contemporary processes, okay? Uh, and to turn you into um, tomorrow's uh, managers, you know, tomorrow's professional of the fashion industry. So um, looking at that, you can specialize actually in luxury, apparel and media. Um, so for each uh, program, uh, whether you specialize in luxury, apparel or media, uh, all three tracks have a common core, uh, which is actually uh, based around marketing and management modules and business issues. So we will be actually gaining the core skills in marketing and management to become a, a, a manager. Um, so you will uh, actually, for example, work on developing a marketing plan. This is something that might be able to do in your research project in year two. And you also be working on business issues. Um, uh, and this is common to all three tracks. Now, let's move on to the specialization. If you uh, have decided that the luxury industry is your calling and it's something that has always attracted you, you will actually be able to specialize uh, uh, by studying uh, modules that are grouped under two, um, uh, two titles. One is luxury processes. Um, and in this um, track, you get to uh, understand the processes involved in the production, merchandising and distribution of luxury goods. And we know that there are some very strong specificities associated with the luxury industry. So you get to know about that in depth. And the second one is luxury lifestyle. And really luxury lifestyle is really to help you understand the different segments of the luxury industry. And it's moving fast, it's, it's evolving uh, very rapidly. And this is why you need to have this niche knowledge. Uh, so you'll be looking at topics such as haute couture, luxury jewelry, uh, beauty industry, hospitality. These are all part of the luxury industry. Uh, and even if you are interested in fashion, you know that uh, uh, when we're talking about fashion, we're talking about also a luxury lifestyle, and this includes all these segments. So you, you'll get to know about that as well. Um, if you are interested in an apparel major because uh, you think uh, fashion industry at large is your calling, uh, you will be able to specialize in modules that are related to fashion processes. Again, um, you get a thorough understanding of the logistics uh, involved in the activities of a fashion house, from sourcing and buying to retail and distribution. Some of you think, oh my God, yes, I would like to do that, but maybe I don't have enough fashion experience. Don't worry about that. I mean, we do, um, we're very interested in uh, many profiles that, you know, you, you may think you don't have enough professional experience, but you forget that you probably have done some voluntary work, some uh, industry projects during your bachelor program, or even internships, and these all counts towards professional experience. So even if you haven't necessarily worked in the fashion industry before, you may have been involved in activities that will help you understand fashion processes. So don't hesitate to apply or to contact our team if you think um, uh, that you know fashion, uh, the fashion industry is is, is interesting to you. Um, lastly, uh, you will be studying uh, fashion environment because you may have done marketing before, but the idea is for you to work in the fashion industry, and you may feel like you're lacking the knowledge, the specific knowledge associated with working with garments with uh, working with, uh, within a creative industry and in your future job working with creative people. This is why we have put in place the fashion environment modules and during, uh, in these modules, in these module groupings, you will learn about new technologies because this is really the future of the fashion industry. Uh, you will learn about different quality processes. You will learn about garments and textiles because it's important to understand the product that you love so much and that you will be promoting in your future professional life. 
Now, finally, uh, you are you love fashion, but you also love media and uh, communication. And you feel like you may have a bit of a business mind, but you're also a creative person. Media, uh, media major might be for you, uh, especially if you've uh, enjoyed, you know, photography, video, the visual art. You also like writing. Uh, so if you have one of those, you know, if you feel that this is something that, that speaks to you, uh, look into the media major because uh, on top of the marketing and business uh, module groupings that you have in common with the other uh, MBA fashion management programs, you also have a specialization in uh, two module groupings. One is fashion contextualization. Basically, this helps you if, uh, for example, you've done a bachelor in journalism or in another field, this helps you get a thorough knowledge of the fashion industry and its context. So you get to have modules specializing in fashion culture and history, for example, and looking at the crossovers between art and industry. So very important to become, um, you know, a fully fledged professional in the fashion context. And uh, of course, you know, you are a creative person. Uh, you will be working uh, on image and communication and we have a number of very practical uh, modules, uh, workshop oriented modules that will focus on helping you develop those practical skills, technical skills to understand where is to work with um, different communication tools, where is to work with images. So for example, um, those workshops include uh, working on the photo shoot, um, working on developing a magazine, uh, a professional magazine, uh, working on uh, photography, etc, etc. Et and uh, in this module, what's very interesting is often you also get to work with other programs and uh, specifically with um, the master, the, the designers. So sometimes uh, we have very interesting uh, teams uh, building up because, you know, uh, designers and media students get to work together on promoting certain collections. So really a snapshot of what you want to devote your professional life to. Finally, I told you when I first started that uh, the MBA in fashion management was organized uh, around two years. So the first year is really uh, devoted to uh, the modules and um, I would say uh, class teaching. Um, so you get to get the, the theoretical and uh, learning and the workshops associated with acquiring those skills. The second year is really uh, aimed at you inserting yourself in the professional life, transitioning into a professional career within the fashion industry, which is why you are uh, working on what we call the capstone thesis. Basically, it's a, a research project. Um, uh, that's unique to each individual, that unique to each student. You get to choose your own topic and it's uh, very oriented uh, towards something very practical because you have to develop a marketing plan for um, a topic you have selected uh, during the course of your second year. Of course, you don't get to do that by yourself. And again, we have uh, a, a team of, of specialists and lecturers that will help you and coach you during this process. Even if you're not physically on Paris or Istanbul campus, um, we can still do that. So even if you've been studying in your first year in Paris, you may be able to go back somewhere and still get the expertise and coaching and mentoring of our lecturers and professionals. Uh, in your second year, you also have the opportunity to do an internship. And I know that's, uh, I'm sure we have lots of questions about that because it's very important for you. Um, so you get to do an internships and, uh, and um, use the contact that the school has, uh, the alumni uh, networks that we have um, to work um, with, you know, um, with uh, very famous brands and, and fashion houses. Um, so you can do that during your second year and uh, IFA Paris uh, provides you with an internship agreement and some uh, support when uh, you need to uh, do the, the bureaucracy. So um, again, very interesting to have that very practical uh, learning by doing uh, experience at IFA Paris. I will uh, um, let Jean-Baptiste talk about the MBA fashion technology. Thank you, Alain. Thank you so much. The MBA fashion technology is also is a 15-month program. Uh, we have two intakes, one in September 2021 and one in January 2022. And the tuition fee is 12,800 euros for the on-campus version and 
9,500 students for the online version. So earlier on, Alban kind of admitted that she's very proud of the MA in contemporary fashion design. For me, if I had a favorite child in the entire family, that would definitely be the MBA in fashion technology. Uh, not only because I was actively involved in the creation of this program with PETA that you have seen earlier on, but also because I think that's the program of tomorrow. So this is the only postgraduate program in fashion tech in France, and it is based on a, a similar kind of structure, let's say, as the other MBA programs, because we're still using module groupings, but these module groupings are solely focused on high-tech, edgy developments. Um, so the first module grouping is called creation and specific module grouping. You have modules that are dedicated to design development thanks to new technologies. So just to give you a few ideas and example, you have cutting edge digital design, for instance. You have principles of fashion tech or product discovery. And throughout these different modules, you are going to experiment firsthand. And by firsthand, I mean either physically or remotely, because our fashion tech lab is also accessible remotely. You will get to experience all the different equipments that we have from the body scanner to the fabric scanner, the laser cutter, the 3D printer, uh, the Oculus Quest goggles. And I think something that we haven't mentioned earlier on about the Bachelor of Fashion Sustainability is our partnership with the Circular Fashion Summit, where all our students in the second year are going to get their own Oculus Quest goggle to follow classes remotely, virtually. So. That's pretty cool and it's pretty high tech. Um, then the next module grouping is called prototyping and production. And this really revolves around the notion of MVP, minimum viable product. So what does it take to make sure that you can produce that MVP? And so in that specific module grouping, you're going to look into product management and roadmaps, rapid prototyping, but you're also going to have some theoretical modules, for example, like the one that is called the fourth industrial revolution, where you will learn about the latest technological advances that are completely transforming our society. And the last module grouping is called commercialization. So in this module grouping, uh, we have seen earlier on about design development, we have seen about production. Now we're looking at how we're going to commercialize our products. So let's talk about artificial intelligence, for example, and machine learning. How can we leverage on this technology in order to understand how to commercialize the product? And in fact, one of the partners in the Foundry Fashion Tech Lab is IBM and on site, we do have a demonstrator of IBM AI's technology. Another example in terms of uh, module in the commercialization module grouping is future retail ecosystem or even neuro design. So how to make sure that you are marketing products, taking into account neuro connections, uh, stimulation, even from the sensorial perspective. So as a capstone for all these module groupings, you have your personal final project. And differently from the previous MBA, this personal final project is really about developing your startup and going further into explore the commercialization and the application of new technologies in fashion. And as it happens after this MBA, the students can also get access into our own acceleration program uh, that is called Foundry by IFA Paris, where we've had so far two batches of startup that have been presenting their concepts. Some of them have been, for example, collaborating with Fusalp and Chloe on the development of virtual retail environment experiences. So I think it's, it's a really 
avant-garde type of program and in our opinion this is going to be the future of fashion. Hello, my name is Kimberly Dukais and my program is in MBA fashion business. So well, I've always been very fascinated and I've always had like a love for fashion to kind of looking for, uh, let's say for example, a program that would challenge me as well as push me. This program came up and it was just perfect because it was in Paris, which is like the fashion city. And I just was like, I have to come here. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, to the classrooms, especially specifically with the lecturers, they're very engaging. Um, you can tell that they re they're really passionate about what they love. Um, and you can see that through the knowledge they give us. Sometimes a lot, but it's good knowledge. Um, so I do love the, the professors as well as the students that are here. I love the students. It's a melting pot from everywhere. Everyone is from everywhere. Um, I learn from my friends like all the time. So just being in this class, in the school in general, is just, it's amazing. Because Paris is such a melting pot, for example, in terms of the uh, English, the fact that, you know, some people don't speak um, necessarily English, um, you can still find someone, you can still find someone who speaks English and you can still find your way around things. Fashion Tech um, with Peter, that was a great class as well. We developed a software, specifically my group, we developed a software for um, fixing the prototyping um, process in the fashion design process, so that was really interesting. The projects that we have, they really make you think and they challenge you, which is what I was looking for. So. But I really do like my program. There's a lot of like, you know, marketing, like all aspects of the business, of like the business in the fashion industry. Um, I really like the fact that the, as I said before, the professors, they're very um, engaging and they want to kind of give you all of their knowledge. So I personally do not regret the program that I chose and I really love the fact that I'm, I'm learning so much as it gets there and it's just really challenging me and making me kind of think outside of the box. Research, research, research. IFA has like a lot of different programs and you really have to kind of see which one is the best for you. So I would personally advise that, you know, you find someone like me or another student who um, you are interested in the program, one or two, if you have a big array, like you want to do luxury brand management or contemporary, you're not really sure what to go into, you contact one of us and you kind of ask how the environment is, how we're studying, what is it like actually doing in that pro do, going into that program and then from there you can really like see which one is best for you so I would just say research all right perfect so I'm gonna be short and sweet just like our short courses and summer courses um, I feel extremely happy to be presenting those programs because you know that we've we've spent months wondering if we could actually teach those programs offline on campus and we can so i'm super happy to present them so let's jump to it we as you can see have quite a varied portfolio of short courses actually we have nine short courses with very specific specialization so let's start with the future of fashion tech and here is an illustration you see our 3d printers in our fashion tech lab this course is 30 hours. It's going to start on the 5th of July, and you can actually take it either offline on campus, which is 1,000 euros, or online, which is 500 euros. So in terms of this program for the future of fashion tech, who is this program for? It's definitely for participants that have a curiosity to understand what are technologies applied to fashion and what they can do with it. I don't know if you guys have been following or attending our workshops that we have organized until now, but we had our lab manager, her name is Vaughn, that was teaching how to construct a handbag with paper or carton and that could be laser cut. So this is pretty much one of the things that we're going to cover in the future of fashion tech. 
and we are going to teach you during this one week how to create a physical 3D prototype. It could be something that is 3D printed from our printers. It could be something that we laser cut together. It could be uh, a, a, an ensemble of circuits, for example. Um, so this is definitely the program that will uh, open your mind to fashion technology and perhaps lead you to continue your studies that are related with this nature. Then upcycling. So this specific program is available online, offline, in Paris and in Istanbul. The tuition fee is 1,500 euros for offline program and 500 euros for online program. Love this program. We've been developing it for Bridget with Bridget Ortiz from Born Again Vintage. Unfortunately, she hasn't been able to come to Paris and I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, she will be able to make it to teach one of the sessions of the program. But what is upcycling? It's about taking old clothes, dead stock, as we call it, deconstruct it and reconstruct it into new clothes. So I don't know, Vanessa, if you could actually show so this this design for example like is your camera on yeah so the designs you guys chose actually are designs that were made with dead stock and so they've been deconstructed like they were sweatshirts and reconstructed for example into this lovely skirt so why upcycling it is important well it's important as a designer because sustainability will be a major component of your professional life but it's also fun as an individual because in this specific program, we will take you to this super famous flea market called Les Puces de Saint-Ouen. You will have a budget to buy clothes and then you will be able to create new pieces out of older looks. And you will be able to take this specific skill with you. And instead of going to a flea market, you will get into your closet and then you will know how to create great designs. Fashion event planning, great program as well. Three weeks in Paris or Istanbul. Online format is 30 hours, 500 euros. On-campus program is 1,500 euros. So this program was um, aimed at giving an understanding of what it takes to create and to organize a fashion event. So it could be a fashion show, a trade show, an exhibition. The students in this very practical program are going to learn about uh, mood board and translating their inspiration into a concept. They will learn about photography. They will learn about choreography of a fashion show. They will learn about music sets. They will learn about flowers, they will learn about gastronomy and wine pairing with, I don't know, specific dishes as well. And how do we get to teach them all of this? Super practical workshop. I was saying earlier on, we'll have session on wine tasting, we'll have, se we'll have session on gastronomy uh, in, in my previous presentation. Well, this is one of the program that is going to benefit from those workshops. And at the end of those 75 hours, What's going to happen is that the students are going to get to organize a show on site here at IFA Paris. Creative Direction, love this program because it's an introduction to artistic direction. So it's a 62 hour program. It starts in Paris or in Istanbul. It's taught online, 500 euros, and it's taught on campus, 1,800 euros. This program combines an introduction to fashion design to understand the components of styling, an introduction to makeup techniques with the partnership with our uh, uh, trusted partners, Makeup Forever Academy, and an introduction to fashion photography with real life photo shoot, indoor, outdoor light settings, and understanding how to do retouching. So throughout this entire program, the students are going to be working on a specific theme, and the output here is to organize their own fashion shoot at the end of the program and to get a print of their first fashion shoot as potential artistic directors. 
fashion and luxury business. So this is quite a big short course. It's 254 hours. Happens in Paris and in Istanbul. 4,000 euros for students that are taking the program on campus. 1,800 students for those that are following the program remotely. So this is really about understanding luxury, fashion marketing, and visual merchandising. So I believe it's quite a comprehensive program to give a very good introduction of what the job of a fashion marketer is supposed to be. And earlier on, we had questions about, you know, should I take a short course before moving on to a bachelor program? This is a perfect short course for that. Fashion Studio with a very similar format because just like the previous program, this one is also 252 hours, taught in Paris and Istanbul, on campuses or online. On campus, the tuition fee is 4,000 euros. Online, it's 1,800 euros. And here again, we're going to teach participants about fashion design, pattern making, sewing, and textile. The objective again here is to give a comprehensive introduction to what it is to be a fashion designer. And so students are going to be able to conceptualize a garment and go all the way to the production of this garment. Fashion Portfolio, again taught in Paris and Istanbul, is a four-week program and it's 1,900 euros. It's taught on campus. So this Fashion Portfolio program is especially important for students who would like to apply to any kind of fashion school, not IFA Paris, but fashion schools, for example, that are requesting portfolios in the documents for admission requirements, and then need advices and guidance on how to develop those portfolios. So a very exciting year ahead, uh, and I hope we're going to be able to spend either the full year or part of the year together but most importantly, I wish all of you uh, great health uh, and, and I hope you can take care of yourselves uh, and I hope we are going to be able to see you very soon in Paris, in Istanbul or in Shanghai. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.